Hello! Welcome back. Uh, today is a Frank Lloyd Wright craft day. So I am here in Minecraft uh, and I am bringing you some Frank Lloyd Wright craft. <laughs> um, so if you are new to the stream, uh, especially this particular project, um, this is a project I started uh, several years ago um, where I recreate the architecture of famous architect Frank Lloyd Wright here in Minecraft. Uh, and I'll show you over here. This was the first, um, coming up on this brick house here, this was the first build that I did. This is the Roby House, which is located in Chicago. It's a very famous Frank Lloyd Wright building. Um, I've been a huge Frank Lloyd Wright fan since I was a kid. Uh, I've always liked his architecture a lot. And um, I don't know, one day, well, this is in the before times, I used to travel for work. Uh, and there was, there was one weekend where I was home and not traveling and uh, decided to, I don't know, take on this project. I was like, I wonder if I could recreate the Roby House in Minecraft, because uh, I very much like building in Minecraft. Uh, and then this is this is how it came out. Uh, I was quite pleased with it. And then that turned into this broader project of uh, Frank Lloyd Wrightcraft. <clears throat> so I've done, uh, oh, maybe about a dozen houses now. Um, uh, sort of scattered throughout this uh, little land that I have here. Uh, I have the, the rendering distance turned, pulled back quite a lot here uh, because my computer is not super beefy and Minecraft uh, has its own series of hiccups. Um, so yeah, so things will sort of, if I fly around, things will sort of pop into view eventually. Uh, I think this might have been my second build over here. This is the Pope Leahy house, which is uh, just outside of DC. It's a small uh, one-family home. Uh, it's one of Frank Lloyd Wright's Usonian builds. Um, so Frank Lloyd Wright um, uh, also, so he, I mean, obviously he loved architecture. Uh, he liked designing buildings. He thought the home should be something beautiful to live in, um, that it should be sort of a, a work of art that you enjoyed living in. Um, uh, and then he also, um, thought that it shouldn't, that like good design should not be a luxury item. Uh, this is his home and studio. This is uh, another famous one in uh, Chicago. Um, yeah, so he uh, very much um, thought that design should not be a luxury thing. So he um, designed a series, uh, this one included, and this one here, a series of what he called Usonian houses, um, which are affordable, uh, sort of middle income, I guess, um, one family home, one, uh, yeah, one family unit home things. So they're quite small, but they're still really beautiful. Um, you know, of course, then he also designed much more extravagant stuff, um, like this one on the horizon here. This is Hollyhock. Um, this is out in uh, the LA area, um, and it is quite uh, an extensive um, build both uh, architecturally for Mr. Wright uh, and also for me here in Minecraft. <laughs> so, uh, last time, let's fly over to where we are here. <clears throat> um, right, so last time, we're coming up on the Darwin D. Martin complex here. Um, so this is something that I built uh, several years ago, but then last time we added on to this and added the gardener's house over here, the gardener's cottage, um, which uh, turned out like so. Uh, we had to do a bit of terraforming, which I'm still not quite done with. Uh, I hopped on this today a little bit earlier to do a little bit of terraforming here, but as you see, we still have this weird floating house. Uh, I will get to that. I don't know if I'll do that on a stream or not. Uh, I don't know if um, that's particularly interesting for people or not, to just watch somebody terraform and uh, fix uh, Minecraft. Oh, this is a mess over here, too. I'll have to fix all of that. Um, we also tried to add on this little um, greenhouse. I'm not pleased with this yet, so I might tear this down and redo it. Um, this is not designed by uh, Frank Lloyd Wright. This is something that was added on by the modern uh, um, groundskeepers of this uh, estate here. Um, it is now part of the Frank Lloyd Wright Trust, Frank Lloyd Wright Foundation. Um, here, this is eventually going to be the visitor center. Again, also not designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, but uh, I kind of wanted to sort of fill out this area here and add in all the other pertinent buildings. 
Um, so yeah, so this is what we did last time. Uh, it is a uh, more simple um, design by Mr. Wright, uh, but it, it was the gardener's uh, house, so uh, not as um, extravagant or as detailed as um, you know, uh, the Martins who lived in here. Um, so you can see this is quite extensive. It actually has a, uh, a basement, uh, middle floor, and uh, a second floor there, or a ground floor and then a second floor, um, as well as this uh, extensive pergola that goes to uh, the greenhouse, which you can sort of peek in here, in the greenhouse there. Um, you can sort of see it through here. And that's supposed to be um, the winged uh, uh, the winged victory, it's a um, sculpture. Uh, and then through here are the stables, uh, which is actually today this is actually the gift shop of uh, this complex. But I sort of made it look kind of like stables for now, rather than making it a gift shop. Cool. So like I said, uh, last time we did this. Uh, and today we are going to start on Gray Cliff. Uh, so that, that over there is another, um, actually designed by Franklin Wright. This is a, uh, it's in a cemetery. It is the Blue Sky Mausoleum. So a little memorial there. Um, so actually all of these things here, I guess this is the sort of Buffalo, New York area. All of these things are located in Buffalo, New York, which is where Mr. Martin, Mr. Darwin D. Martin lived. He was the secretary of the Larkin Soap Company, um, and he was a huge fan of Mr. Wright. He really um, believed in what uh, Frank Lloyd Wright stood for, and uh, both his design aesthetic and his work ethic, and sort of you know his sense of life for how he how he approached his work. Um, Mr. Lar uh, Mr. Not Mr. Larkin, Mr. Martin. Who worked for Mr. Larkin? Who worked for the Larkin the Soap uh, Company? Um, Mr. Martin was very much a sort of self-made man. Um, he and his brother moved to New York when they were younger to work at the soap uh, factory, uh, and then sort of rose up through the ranks there um, and was the first person at the soap company to be given a um, an office job, um, and then he eventually um, replaced the secretary um, as the secretary of the company. So, uh, like I said, um, Darwin D. Martin was a huge fan of Frank Lloyd Wright, um, and so he commissioned him to uh, design and build this home for him, and uh, he extended the offer to his siblings. There are a lot of pigs in there. I should, I should get rid of those pigs. They're just sort of here. Oops. I don't really want uh, pigs in uh... Let's just do this. Let me go on a pig slaughter here. It's fine. It's fine. Oops. Don't want this to be a little pigsty. Come here, pig. You don't belong here. Is there any more? Oh, there's one more. Come here. Come here. Uh, yeah. So as you see, I do most of my uh, playtime in this world in uh, creative because I like building. And for me, it's more about the architecture and figuring out the puzzle of how to get this architecture to work in the world of Minecraft um, rather than um, some of the other uh, priorities or um, focuses of the other gameplay um, options in Minecraft. So I do I do play survival sometimes. Um, super fun. It's great. Uh, but for here, that's sort of why I do this in creative rather than uh, in survival, where it would be I would be spending more time grinding just to get all of the materials that I need. Uh, I know I'm only a fraction of the time actually building these houses, and I like. I like building. I like, especially I like the puzzle of uh, trying to get this to work in Minecraft. So, so like I said, uh, Darwin D. Martin, huge fan of Franklin Wright, commissioned him to build this uh, complex for him um, and his family, or sort of any of his family who took him up on the offer. So we have uh, over here the 
uh, Barton House. Um, George George Barton uh, married uh, Mr. Martin's sister uh, and then took him off on the offer. So this is a separate house, but part on the same property. So this whole area here was uh, all owned by uh, Mr. Martin. Um, Unfortunately, that was the only sibling who took him up on the offer, uh, much to the dismay of uh, Mr. Martin. Uh, but um, he, uh, Darwin E. Martin, also commissioned uh, Mr. Wright to design his summer home called Gray Cliff, which is the photo that you see there in the, uh, or a sort of aerial shot. Um, actually, let me swap that out so you can see more of what the house actually looked like from the front. Um, yeah, so. He commissioned him to also build him a summer home, uh, and that's what we're starting on today. So I did a little bit of terraforming here, a little bit of, of clearing out some trees, because this is the area that we want to use today. Uh, we might have to extend this out here, which would mean a bit more deforestation and uh, um, terraforming, but at least this gives us a start. Um, to this area here. Oops. So, uh, there's a lot of animals around here. You guys, there's going to be a giant house here eventually. Okay, so, um, there's some stuff here. Stay. Uh, right, so this is going to be the plot of land for Greycliff. Uh, we'll probably start it around here. So we do get a little bit of, let me take you back to the shot here. Um, you notice how it is really like, it butts up uh, against this uh, this cliff, right? So uh, that's sort of why I chose this area here. And you see that I've already done a little bit of terraforming to give us a little bit more working space out here. Um, Again, this might need to come out here, but at least this will uh, eventually give us a sort of a nice cliff face here once I uh, fill in this mountain or do a little little terraforming to uh, make this not a weird floating piece of cantilever dirt. <laughs> Frankly, right, like cantilevers, but uh, I don't think this is uh, proper according to physics here. <laughs> Cool. So this will give us, like, again, if we start sort of where this pig is, um, and and bring it across here like so, uh, that also gives a little bit of a backyard to work with uh, as it looks out over that bluff, cliff, that area there. Cool. Just check in here. Uh, okay, so uh, you'll notice that I also have up here, so I've got uh, a couple of different photo uh, galleries, um, slideshows for you guys. Um, so up here we have several photos, actually these are photos that I took while I was um, at Greycliff. Uh, hey Atlas, how's it going? Uh, yeah, these are photos that I took when I was visiting Greycliff. Um, and uh, so I've got a bunch of different shots here, uh, both of the exterior, and then uh, with this tour, actually, I um, so some of the uh, some of the Frank Lloyd Wright houses, um, it, it's it's very sort of inconsistent as to what you can see or how much of the uh, how much you can see there. Uh, this uh, Great Cliff actually does offer offer a, a sort of an upgraded package tour where you can pay for a photo pass. So uh, I. I not only could I take photos of the exterior, uh, it's kind of cool. You can see like straight through the building. One thing that Mrs. Martin complained about um, at their house was that there was not enough of light in the house. And so uh, this was sort of Wright's response to that. So you can actually sort of see straight through the house there. Uh, anyway, so I went, uh, I was in Buffalo. I was actually in Buffalo for uh, a work gig and uh, decided to spend a couple extra days there just so I could go see all of the Franklin Wright uh, buildings in the area because there, there are a lot of them in Buffalo uh, again because Mr. Martin lived there and he you know commissioned right not only for his home um, and for his summer home but he also advocated um, on behalf of Mr. Wright to get the commission for the Larkin Soap Administration building um, which uh, has been has since been demolished um, although there's like a, a plaque for it there and then there's some other privately owned homes um, in the Buffalo area 
so I was there and I, I took this uh, tour, paid for the uh, extra photo pass so I could take pictures not only of the exterior, which we're looking at right now, uh, but then also, uh, we're getting there, the interior. So when I was there, uh, it was uh, the beginnings of undergoing a massive reconstruction project or renovation project. Um, so a lot of these are uh, in the middle of, um, uh, you'll see like some, some uh, work tape and yeah, there, there you can see like there's a, the bathroom is completely uh, uh, unfinished there. Uh, so we could peek in there when we were there, but we couldn't go in. Um, yeah, so, but I was able to take photos of the interior. Uh, so you'll see a lot of those as well, which will help with our uh, design of Great Cliff. So this is the sort of upstairs bedrooms here, bathrooms. Uh, the other people on our tour. <laughs> cool. Well, let's go back to the beginning here. Do, do, do. So I also wanted to this first one here, this first fo this photo. Uh, I did not take. Uh, I don't have a drone that can take that. <laughs> but uh, I snagged this one off of the internet because it does give a nice sort of lay of the land uh, and sort of show how this house does. Like I said, sort of butt up against um, this cliff face or this this eventual cliff face for us. So yeah, so we've got uh, those photos which I use <coughs> for reference, uh, and then the other thing that we have here is we have uh, blueprints. So we take uh, let me back to the here we go. So uh, the house also has a lot of blueprints on display. Um, Again, because they uh, certainly any of the homes that are owned by the Franklin Wright Foundation um, are super big into you know educating people about Franklin Wright and his architecture, and so they have uh, blueprints on display. So I took photos of those as well. Um, so you can see this is uh, so this one here is sort of the whole overview. Here we have the um, first floor plan, um, which is. Uh, you'll see that it's not only of the house, but then of the servant's home, which is that little bit in the bottom corner there. And this is the second floor for both uh, Greycliff and the second floor for the servant's quarters as well. Uh, and so here is uh, the floor plan for the first floor of of the Greycliff estate, right? That, that long one in the back there, the one that butts up against the the cliff. So we're going to be using that for reference here to help us build. Uh, and then obviously also we're going to be using a lot of these photos here um, to help us help us uh, build out here. So uh, let's see. I first want to get a little bit of a palette going um, of blocks that we're going to be using. So looking at this photo here, uh, let's Let's look and see what we got. So, you know, it's probably, uh, we'll probably use the stone bricks uh, because it gives some nice texture. And maybe we'll, maybe we'll also use a little bit of cob, uh, I don't want the infest one, oops. Uh, maybe we'll also use a little bit of cobblestone um, to give a little bit more texture layers going on here. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, we don't have any brown stones uh, like we, the, like the building, like that sort of reddish brown stones that we see the building actually made out of. Uh, so I think we'll probably use these gray stones here, but um, that will give the effect there, I think, quite nicely. Um, and then, let's see. Hmm. Um. Uh, for the roof, we could probably use this acacia for the roof because uh, it is very much a, a sort of red roof there. So we'll probably do that. Uh, and you'll notice with a lot of Frank Lloyd Wright roofs, um, they're very they're very flat. So some of them are like completely flat, and some of them are just are very sloping. But you don't see a lot of like high pointed peaks from Frank Lloyd Wright. So we'll probably be using slabs for the roof um, bits there. Um, we're also going to need a door. Uh, let's see here. Do we have a shot of the 
door? What kind of door do we got here? Um, well, we might just use the birch door then. Pretty simple. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, so I used uh, doors a lot as my um, my scale reference uh, because again I do like building these in such a way um, that uh, you could walk around in these buildings as your character in Minecraft, right? Uh, I mean, obviously I could make I could scale these up and then I could get all of the like fine little details and stuff. Uh, which which would also be cool, but I kind of like the challenge um, and the the constraints of trying to build this in such a way that you could walk through this. So that's sort of so I use doors a lot as like my starting point, um, and then that helps set the scale for like how how tall things should be, how how and then also then how long they should be. So let's try and find this sort of orangish sand color. Uh, let's see. I mean, we could. I don't, we're not gonna use sand. That seems like a pain to work with. Um, we could use the stripped birch wood. That might be interesting. Um, what else could we use here? Uh, I mean, we could. Oh no, I don't want to use cut sandstone. It's gonna, it's gonna have that line. We want something a little bit smoother than that, I think. Uh, so we could potentially use smooth sandstone. That could be an option. It might be a little bit too light. Uh, or yeah, and I think then the red, the smooth red sandstone is too dark. Maybe we'll have something in like the terracotta or clay area that we could use. I think yellow's too mustardy. What else do we have? The concrete, I feel like, is going to be too flat. Hmm. Sandstone might be the way to go here, guys. What else do we got? We have concrete powders. Uh. I wish there was a terracotta that looked good, that like looked like the right color. Um, I mean, we could continue to use the white terracotta. I don't know if I like that idea. I think I'm, I might like the smooth sandstone more. We also got to think about what this is going to look like next to the uh, next to the stone, right? So like having that palette there. Yeah, I think the terracotta is gonna be too dark. Uh, compare, like, we want a con nice contrast between the roof and the wall. And I think yellow terracotta is just too yellow. It's like too mustard color. Uh, mustard colored. Yeah, and so then there's also this stripped birch wood, which might might look okay, or it might look too much like wood. Uh, I think stripped jungle wood probably looks worse in that regard. That's just sand. Yeah, I th I'm, I guess. One of these two, either the either the smooth sandstone or the stripped birch wood, is probably going to be our best bet here for the house. Uh, and then, like I said, we'll use a combination of stone bricks and cobblestone for the stone bits of this uh, of this house here. I'm going to take one more pass along these blocks and see if there's anything else that that comes close to that, that color that I want here. 
Do you guys see anything that you think might be a better option? Feel free to shout it out in the chat. Uh, but uh, yeah, these are some of the decisions that I make uh, when I am sort of first looking at this build. Hmm. I wonder if we also want to use some, maybe we want to also use some of the cracked stone bricks. Um, for to give us uh, some nice texture to that stone. Yeah. Hmm. Are there no? Is there, are there no acacia stairs? Uh, I'm not. I don't think we'll need them. The only place we. Yeah, I don't think we'll use them. But it would be kind of nice to have that option. Oh, no, there they are. Okay. Well, we'll throw them in there in case we need them. Like I said, I think we'll probably just use slabs for the roof to get that nice sloping effect. Uh, but it would be nice to have that option if we if we want it, if we need it. Yeah, I think this is pr a pretty good color palette right now. Um, we could always change things later if we, uh, if we find something that we like better. Okay. So, here we go. <laughs> this is always the part that, like, oh, I don't know. It, it always is um, uh, hard to get started a lot of times. Okay, so we've got this sun porch here. So that's like the, if you look, if you're looking at the blueprint, um, you're looking at sort of top down on the blueprint here, like the leftmost area um, is that sun porch. Uh, and then there's also the balcony on top, which, which sticks out. And there's like a little bit of a garden underneath it there. Um, Uh, sorry, I'm looking at the chat. Uh, play dungeon vans. When I play Minecraft, I crush monsters uh, and die in the lava. This is much more high end. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I have definitely died uh, to my fair share of lava in my life. Uh, but yes, this is a little bit uh, of a different outlook on Minecraft for sure. <laughs> um, okay, so like I said, um, we want to make sure that we have uh, enough... Um, enough space for the balcony and, and like the balcony to to jut out over that little garden area there. So, um, okay, well maybe uh, maybe we'll make this. Oops. <laughs> Off to a great start. <laughs> um, maybe we'll make this the edge. Maybe we need to pull that down some so we have a little bit more. Yeah, uh, okay. I think maybe we'll make that here. Um, make this the edge of the sunroom. Um, Let's see, do we have a, there we go, that's what I want, a little photo of the side there. So we can sort of get a little bit of a feel. Do I have anything more? There, there we go. That's what I want. Cool. Um, okay. So also, um, sort of interestingly, I also uh, don't always just lay out the blueprint um, from the beginning. I, I try, I fill in some of the details actually as I go, uh, because again, it helps me with helps me with that um, that scale. Uh, oh, are we going to have problems with space here? Maybe I need to bring this back even more. Uh, because you notice that like the living room does, does jut out a little bit there. 
Yeah, that's probably good. Uh, and I know we're going to have to extend this this land out here uh, and do do a fair amount of uh, terraforming. But we do have the real estate, right? Even well, well before we run into this. And even if we had to like remove this, we could put this somewhere else. It's such a small little build. Uh, I mean, I like it very much. Um, uh, I think it turned out quite nice if you look at, again, this is called the Blue Sky Mausoleum. But it's not imperative that this lives here. Uh, so we do have quite a bit of land to work with here. Okay, I think that's probably a good, a good start here. Um, we want to make this five or maybe seven. Let's make this seven wide. Okay, and then do this here, and then it changes into stone here comes out oh, there would be like a window there um, and this is sort of at an angle might have to do something tricky with that but okay so that's sort of starting to look like some stuff We'll have to do something fancy with these uh, windows. Okay. So I'm not loving the stripped birch. Uh, especially because I think I'm, I would have to really think about uh, angle of uh, the um, how I lay the birch. Let's see what this looks like. Pig, this is not your home. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be a better choice. I don't know. Now it looks like it just looks too light to me. But the birch, the texture of the birch looks weird. Dungeon Man, you think you, you like the lighter block as well? Yeah. Again, there's there's just something to like the consistency of the texture there that I think works better for for this build here. Okay, and then we do have a space here for a little bit of a garden. You know, it might be smaller than the actual one there, but uh, I'm I'm okay with that. Um, okay. So. And then this would come back here. I'm sure there are windows there. We can punch out those windows later. Cool. Uh, and then we'll put a floor in here eventually and a, and a nice roof as well. So we'll figure that out later. Uh, I tend to do, again, in interiors. Sometimes I put in some of the interior stuff as I go. Um, uh, just to... Uh, get a little bit of, um, help me gauge with scale, but, okay, let me back up with, okay, so let's go back to, we can texture this later, uh, I want to get some of these, uh, stones in here, again, to sort of get a feel for this. up one. Maybe 
maybe it doesn't need to go up quite this far. No, uh, uh, Dungeon Man, I'm actually eyeballing it. Uh, that's that's sort of how I how I roll with this, um, is just just eyeballing it. Um, so, which is another what reason why like it helps play this in creative, because like I can um, uh, destroy things really quick and try it again. Okay, so then if we did something like this here, yeah, so then we get a little bit of that uh, roof detail there, and then we can start putting this on top. Okay, so that's starting to look like what uh, what we've got here, uh, and of course there would be a little uh, a little window here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're gonna carry this up a bit more. So we also kind of want to. Um, let me see. Uh, let me see the floor, the interior floor. I think it's probably just um, okay. In the living room, it's gonna be stone. But otherwise, it's just uh, not generic wood. Like um, we will use oak. Um, let's see here. Uh, either the spruce or the dark oak for the flooring. We decided we were not going to use that. Okay. Um, so we either use spruce or the dark oak. We might use the dark oak. So, right, this is fine. This will start to be the floor here, uh, and because this has two levels, um, and the like, there's there's bits of this that stick out at those particular levels. Um, I think it's probably really important for me to figure out um, like how tall the interior is going to be here. So just to help me visualize this, oops, visualize this. I'm going to start putting in this floor here, and then put in a ceiling floor as well. Okay. So, uh, let's go ahead and grab the uh, oak slabs as well. Yeah. And we'll do uh, our ceiling here. I'm wondering if we need to make this a little bit wider, uh, just based off of what I know is upstairs. <laughs> um, although I guess it does expand a little bit here when we get to the living room, like looking at that blueprint. So we might be okay. I guess it wouldn't be too bad. We could always just sort of leave uh, this backside largely unfinished and work on the front facade. Um, and then as we build the second story, um, then we can, uh, then we can start to, um, if we need to, if we need to adjust, like if we need to 
expand this uh, two more blocks here, we could. This might be okay here. Okay. Right, and like eventually, like I'll, uh, you know, go back through here and, you know, put in um, some different blocks here to give it a little bit more texture, right? So it looks a little bit more like what we see in uh, um, what we see in that photo, uh, where it looks like it's not a uniform like brick laying of stones, right? Like you've got lots of different shapes and sizes of stones. So, uh, like I said, uh, I don't know if I like that there. Maybe we'll do this here. Um, so this at least would give us a little bit of texture, right? And so now you can see how like, okay, that looks like several different sizes or types of stone there. Um, that I, I can definitely go in uh, later and uh, flesh that out. So, you know, up here, and you know, eventually we will have to figure out window situation. Okay. So what else we got in terms of photos? Okay, so this is a helpful shot here because that gives me a little bit of, um, okay. Um, so I think I probably only want that too wide there. Oh. And then we'll have this. I wonder if this makes it too wide here, though. Yeah, maybe we'll just do we'll do a skinny window. Um, otherwise, I think we might get a little a little bit too I don't, wide or, or, or something there. Sorry, my mouse has been doing this weird thing where sometimes it double clicks, uh, which is annoying, which is why I'm getting some of those double blocks. Okay, so we have the roof, which comes out, it does come in line with that, guys, so maybe we'll have it here. Go out that way. We could also bring it across if we wanted to make it, if we needed to adjust. But okay, so there's that. Um, okay, uh, I need to get uh, at least a, s a stone slab here. We have a little bit of a wide. Okay, so now we got to figure out: Do we want? Do we have a, a shot of the front door? Because we got to figure out: Do we want um, uh, a single door or a double door here? Uh, Dungeon man, you said creative mode needs cut and paste. Yeah, uh, I mean that would that would definitely help in some of these builds. Um, you know, especially uh, I mean a lot of the, actually the Franklin Wright stuff. Uh, I feel like everything is very bespoke. Um, like for that part of the land or for what he, like for the effect that he wants to accomplish. Uh, so I'm not sure how useful it would be. I mean, I'm, uh, there are times where like, I just need a, a wide swath of, of blocks. And so that, that could be useful there. Okay, let me see if I can find a shot of the front door. That's, that's looking from the front door out. Uh, I think that's the front door. Okay, so we only have, we have a single door here. Um, I have, damn, maybe at the end I might have another shot of the outside. As I was like leaving the building. Nope. Okay, we'll go back to the, the A lot of photos. <laughs> OK. 
actually see here. Actually, if I zoom in here, um, uh, if I zoom in, can we get a better shot of that door situation? Uh, there's a window there. I mean, looking at the blueprints, we can also see like where the door is. Um, uh, wait, is there no zoom out button? I can zoom. Oh, there. It's just a sliding scale. <laughs> okay. Um, what about here? What if we zoom in on this photo? Uh, okay, so there is there's that little window, and there there's like steps up to a single door there. So either we make this one or we make it three. Uh, it might look weird to make it one, so I might go ahead and make it three. Um, yeah, because like it is, it does look still kind of wide there. Okay. So what do we got here? One, two, three. Okay, perfect. Um, and then this is it's set in a bit here. So um, and then we'll put the door like. Oh, I I'm okay. We'll do that. Uh, oh, but then the door's going to be up a little bit. <laughs> what if we did... So I need to do that. What if we did something like this? Uh, or we could just make it go up and then bring it down a step on the interior. Maybe we'll do that. Um, so then we'll do this. And then here. We'll do this. And we'll put the door here. Good. Good job, door. Uh, and then we'll do this and this. Yeah. I think we'll do it like that. I might change these stones here. Um, but I think I think that'll be okay. Okay. So now let's continue to work on this front facade here. Uh, and then we're going to make this two here. Or do we want to make it, well this is just one. Maybe we'll make it just one on this side again so we don't get so, um, quite so wide. Okay. So then hopefully that should give us a decent um, idea of where the roof is. Two, three, four, five, six. Ugh! I don't want it to be six. I want it to be odd. Okay, so where do we want to make this adjustment? Do we want to bring it out when we're here? Or do we want to bring this out one more? 
think I'm, maybe I'll bring this out one more. Let me see if I can see anything from another angle. Okay, so that's what that looks like over there. Oh, interesting. Yeah, okay. Um, right, so then that would eventually come up there. Interesting, okay. Like so. Okay. Okay. It looks like the stone ends at like the peak of this. Fascinating. Okay. Let's go back to. Uh, one of these shots here. Yeah, it looks like the stone goes right to that peak. And then turns the corner and we get some of the uh, we, could always, we could always bring that over some um, we just gotta figure out what to do about this uh, this window here. Right, like, do we want it here, perhaps? This is looking pretty tall, but it is kind of tall. Could have windows here and here. Uh, like so. Okay. Okay. Because that does come up a little bit with the uh, the roof there. Oh, I did not mean to throw that. Right, so then we would need this to come here. Uh, and I guess it would need to come out one as well. We wouldn't need it to come out. Okay. Uh, and then this could start to come up here. Uh, and that does, oh, that does peak over this. Ooh, balls. Okay. We gotta figure out what to do here. To make this, mm. the roof's going to be interesting on this one. Well, we could make it a skinny window, and then we'd be able to do the peak here. Like so. Uh, and this comes out a good bit. We like that much. 
me put stone here. Uh, or do we want to set those in one? Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Uh, because then we can get this little wrap around here. Should determine where this goes. That'll be there. Yeah. And one, two, three. Okay, so then that'll give us a good. Uh, yeah, okay. I like those dimensions, I think. Fill out this roof here. Gosh darn it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay starting to get somewhere now uh, and let's go ahead and fill in the bottom here because it is flat on the bottom there we go all right, that's looking good. And then we'll be able to put in a little driveway here. Uh, eventually, I would like to put in like a little road driveway here so that it lines up with uh, what we're seeing. Cool. cool. Um, just checking in with my notifications. All right. Okay. So, all right. So we're getting somewhere. Uh, now, yeah, 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 okay. Uh, let me go back to my photos here. And... Uh, maybe we'll tackle this situation over here a little bit. Okay, so that goes up. And then we do have like a little bit of a something. What do we got for slabs? We could add uh, either slab. Hmm. It's like got a little bit of a green color. A little bit of a green trim. We could try and use uh, the warp slab to give it a little bit of that green trim. That might look weird. It might look okay. Maybe we'll try it. Oh, I grabbed the wrong nether slab. Like if we do this around the edge, does that look super weird or not? Actually, not so bad. Uh, oh, but this is supposed to be the balcony that sticks out. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I don't know what we want yet, so we're going to go ahead and just make this this kind of a floor here. Um, let me go back to, yeah, there. That's what I want. That's what I want to see. Uh, okay. 
if we do that much. And then we'll do this around the edge. And then do this on the inside here. Or do we want to do that? No, we want to do it on top of this. I think. And then what if we did this like, sort of again on top? I wish I could actually that could fill that in nicely. Okay, I think I'm okay with that. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll have to figure out some sort of door situation here. Door slash window situation here. We'll just... Uh, do this for now. <laughs> I've been watching um, a lot of uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas, <laughs> and so that music is just permanently stuck in my, my brain right now. Um, I do, um, uh, so I, I am uh, originally trained in classical music. That's what I went to school for. Um, hey, Ricard, good to see you. Uh, right, Ricard is your first, or is your, your first name. Unless you want to call me, you want me to call you uh, Dickerson here on, uh, uh, live on the internet. Um, yeah, so I've been listening to, like I said, a lot of, um, uh, the night before Christmas, so I, um, I just need to go up some. I am uh, a classically trained viola player. That's what I went to school for. I went to music conservatory. Um, and um, in the pandemic here, I have been doing uh, weekly Sunday live streams, music live streams. Um, and most of the time I pick like a classical music piece and then uh, talk about it a little bit and break it down and uh, talk about like music theory and that sort of stuff, but from uh, from the perspective of somebody who has never studied music. Like so, if you've never studied music, you could listen to this and hopefully gain some knowledge. Um, I find that um, that process really um, a, a nice challenge for me uh, because I I mean before the before the pandemic hit, I, I was a teacher. I taught dance, and so I like breaking things down. I like being able to explain things. Um, and so I uh, started doing these live streams on Sundays um, as a way of using my time and using my skills, uh, both as a player and as a teacher. Um, and then also it uh, I was doing it all donation-based um, as a way of helping raise funds for myself uh, since COVID ate my job, uh, which is terrifying. Um, yeah, okay, I that I'm okay with that for now. Um, and so I try and mix it up and not just do classical music all the time. Um, I I love classical music, but I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. Um, or it could also just I don't know just trying to break up the monotony, right? Because we are all feeling the monotony right now <laughs> in these quarantine times, right? So um, I, uh, I mix it up sometimes by doing uh, movie score analysis, analyses, 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 um, analyses, and uh, we're going to put this in here. So, yeah, 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 um, yeah, so I, um, this Sunday, I am focusing on the Nightmare Before Christmas for sort of Halloween, or like the day after Halloween, 
but I've been watching the movie like over and over again and like taking notes and you know practicing up on my viola and, and transcribing stuff uh, and so like that is now like in my mind the entire time so my mind is just on loop of like all the music from that um, this is what I want from that movie Thanks, Ricard. Yeah, the uh, I mean, half blocks are they give you so much extra texture, right? Uh, in order to break things up. Um, so yeah, I uh, I utilize um, uh, the slabs a lot. Hey, Mocha. Thanks for the lurk. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, Mocha, I played some more of Baba Is You the other day. It was super fun. I like that game. I'm so glad that you uh, pointed pointed me in the right direction. And uh, sent me a copy. Oops. Well, put that there. That's fine. But yeah, uh, Ricardo, you're right. I uh, the the uh, slabs really help a lot with uh, getting this to look uh, more textured and uh, not so not so janky. Okay, so here is an interesting bit. Because uh, we need this now to go up. Oops. Uh, we're going to need this here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that normally would come over. And this would normally be down. Maybe, maybe I want this to come out one. Oh, I think that might look weird. And then it starts to cut over. Okay. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of this going on here. We might end up doing something like this as well. Just to give it the right. Yeah. Oh, that that does not look good. Hey, Mocha, thanks for the sub. Awesome, awesome. Okay, okay. So we are getting someplace, which is great. Yeah, this is, I am, I am a-okay with this so far. We'll do that. Yeah, I think that makes that look a little bit more fleshed out. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, all right. So now let's look at the um, let's look at the side here um, and see see what this does. So we've got a lot of a lot of brick here. 
there are a lot of stone here. Um, this takes it back quite far. Uh, yeah, like if you look at the blueprints, it goes almost like halfway into the sun porch. The Sinister Design Channel. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so if you look at the blueprints, this this cuts in. So we're uh, let me show you a better shot of what yeah. Um, uh, sorry, just doing some some moderator stuff. Cool. Um, yeah, so if you look, uh, yeah, uh, um, done man. I think I. Uh, yeah, I um, uh, that's the moderator stuff that I was talking about. Is that uh, I think maybe because it had the the word ho <laughs> um, in it is that why that's why it got sort of auto modded. Um, I'm still still fairly new to um, to streaming, and so you know still sort of playing with um, uh, or sort of understanding what is best practices as far as like uh, well what kind of things should be auto modded and whatnot. Um, so I kind of left most things on default unless I had um, a problem with it, sort of philosophically or morally speaking, <laughs> uh, or even just sort of like what I want my channel to stand for. Um, but otherwise I kind of left things, move it pig, I kind of left things on, on the default um, just to sort of uh, uh, see how it goes, and then I can always, yeah, you can always change stuff later, right? All right. Okay, so yeah, so like I was saying, if you look at the blueprint, um, this little cut in here, like where, because we, we've got windows up top on the second floor, and then there's like this re recessed area here, um, which is this, it's almost like a like covered porch kind of thing. Uh, and and uh, I was looking at that, I was like, wow, that's a lot of stone that just cuts across there. Um, but um, if you look at the blueprints, it really does cut in like almost like halfway into the sunroom. So uh, I think that's probably a pretty good amount there. Um, and then we can have this cut over here. I don't know if that needs to go quite that high, because um, we do have, this is going to be our, our floor, and we want that to be consistent as we go into the, like, hallway. Yeah. We'll, we'll fix this later. Actually, we can put in these now. Um, do I need to worry about anything in there? No. That's fine. If I take this out, is that going to... Yeah, it's going to reveal. Okay. Sinister Design, what is your, uh, um, what's your channel about? Sounds like an interesting name uh, or title for a channel. Uh, Ricard, sometimes I, I place blocks down just as reference point. Yeah, sometimes. So this is going to eventually go all the way down. It's going to be a long way. Cool. Uh, sinister design, that sounds, sounds really cool. Um, okay. So I could then, 
I could do this trick again to give us that bottom layer texture. Yeah. There's a little bit of color to match uh, over there. Oh, that looks so nice. Look, it lines up so nice and even. Oh, Frank Lovett would be so proud of these horizontal lines. <laughs> okay, and we got, I think, probably at least one more. Pig, you're in my way. Move. I don't got time for you. There. Um, okay. Uh, and this will come out here um, as we get, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should deal with the stairs. No, I want to. I want to keep going out this way uh, for now and get some of this walkway going. Okay, so we're gonna need some doors. Let me let me get a better picture. Um, okay, do I have? Wait, really? Is that all that I took? Um, I thought. There we go. So it's quite long. Okay, we're gonna have to make some choices here as far as like doors and windows go. All right, let's look at window options, uh, glass. Um, maybe we'll use the, the white, we'll use, we could use the clear. Uh, maybe we'll use the clear for this one. So normally I don't use clear because clear is like kind of weird, but we might really want that like actual see-through, um, see-through area there. Um, so let's use that. And we're also gonna go back to the birch door. Grab one of those. Okay. Um, cool, cool, cool. So we'll do this like so. Hmm. This is going to annoy me up here. I mean, I guess we could always artificial. Oh, we could put down carpet up here, uh, like brown carpet, and that would that would fix that. Okay, problem solved. Uh, what else we got? That's gray, gray. Mm. So I want to do. We will use the polished andesite. We've used that before for some of the like. Uh, for the like walkway here. Cuz this is more of like a uh proper like poured concrete kind of area. So maybe we'll use that. Okay, so do this. So we're gonna do like every other one window door, window door. Yeah. Like that. Oh, I don't know if I like that. We 
gonna have for trapdoors. Okay, we could put this above, and then that might make me hate this less. Yeah, I, that might be our only option here to make these tall door looking things. Um, and then we would have glass here and here. Oh, I forgot to. I don't know. That looks a little janky. Uh, I mean, we could just leave them open where the doors are. And that might be a little better. I mean, it is a very open feeling build. <laughs> Maybe we'll just leave it like that for now. Come back to it later and see. Um, so yeah, I do sometimes consider lighting. I mean, right now it's not a huge problem um, because I'm just in creative, so I don't have to worry so much about mobs um, and such. Um, but uh, I do, I do think about lighting, especially like if there is interesting lighting, because um, Franklin Wright did some really cool things with lighting. I mean, he was such a like revolutionary. We've got here one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna do another one. Do one more. He was so revolutionary in um, his design uh, that uh, yeah, he did some really cool stuff. Um, okay, getting there. Um, and then eventually, this is gonna have a roof here. Uh, like so. Okay, we might have to do some funny things with rooms later. But at least I can get started. So, um, like when I'm doing, uh, uh, Ricardo, to answer your question, um, uh, I do, if I'm doing any terraforming, um, like over here, um, you'll see that I have lit up the underneath, uh, because I do kind of want to make this, like, future-proof, mob-proof. Um, so, yeah, I do make sure that my interiors are lit. Um, like, even here, we've got some... There, you can see them there, some uh, end rods in the ceiling. Um, uh, yeah, because like I, I don't want this to be a problem if, if, if uh, I do toggle this over to, to survival. So. Okay. All right. Well, I think we're going to either leave those open, or we're going to turn them all into windows. That might be a design choice that we make to make it more uniform, even though it's not technically correct. But...
And then at the end it goes back to stone. Okay. I think we'll probably do one more. And then kick it back to stone. I should bring this out one more just to make it match here. Yeah, that's going to be okay. Hello, chicken. What do you want, chicken? Okay. There we go. All right, we're starting to starting to look like it. might just we might do this to make it match up there okay so this is the kitchen We do have a little window in the middle of this, so let's see. Yeah, one, two. I might make this three wide here. Okay. Oop, that's a tree. Cool. Starting to get some place here. And then this cuts back then eventually. Yeah. Okay, maybe we'll go inside and deal with these stairs to help us, uh, again, sort of get a sense of scale here and, uh, and do this right. Haha, uh -huh. and do this right. Oh, 
weird. That does look that yeah, that looks weird. Okay. Here's our front door. We go in, we open said door, and we're inside. Uh actually, speaking of torches, let's let's give us some light in here. A little, bit of, a little bit of working space here. Okay. Okay. So I wonder if I... Did I take any shots of the... So there is the staircase that we're about to tackle. And do I have any shots of the, sun, the downstairs sunroom? This is upstairs stuff. Upstairs... Still upstairs. It's the long hallway that we just built underneath. Still upstairs. Okay, here's the kitchen. Here's downstairs. Oh, that diagonal chimney or fireplace is gonna be tricky. Kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. Living area. Okay, here's part of the sunroom. Is that this is the, this is the sun porch? Right, because it's on the corner there. <laughs> Do I have a picture of the... This is the... Or is this the... Now I'm getting confused. Where is this? I thought this was the sunroom. Or is this on, no, this is on the other side. This is the other sun porch on the other side. Oh, no. Uh, okay. And I gotta, my memory is faulty here. Um... Yeah, this thing, which is different than the sunroom. And it's also not really part of the living room. Do I have a sh another shot of that? Of like where it fits into all this? Yeah, here. Okay, I guess it is just at the edge of the living room. Okay, this is the... So this is kind of what we're looking at here. Um, although, slightly different angle. Like, we're kind of looking at it like that. Okay. Yeah, okay, so there's that little table with the statue. 
which you can also see here on the very edge of that photo. Okay, now I can now I'm piecing together stuff. Okay, and there's that that grand fireplace. Okay. So we've got an entry entryway here. Uh, let's use. Actually, we could just use more of this um, here. To divide out. And then we're going to need stairs. We're going to need oak stairs. Oak, dark oak stairs. I mean. Okay. Let's just do that for now, and then we can. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I'm gonna put this here for now. We'll figure that out later. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's go. Let's go way back to the beginning to look at this staircase. This is what we want. Okay, so if we've just come in, and got a door here, maybe, and we can put stairs here. Yep. Uh, although we don't want to hit our head. Uh, we could put a slab here. So we could make this the landing. Um, <laughs> I'll put this here and here. Uh, do we want to do that? Or do we want to do like this? No, no, we want to do this. And do we want to do that, or do we want to see what, what does this look like? Yeah, okay. I feel like it should be over one though, Ooh. based off of what I remember. Okay, we're gonna move this whole thing over one.
Okay. this wall over. And finish out this wall. And there's going to be a door right here, which goes into the sunroom. Ta da! I think those won't be there in the end. Okay, so here's the staircase. Um, and I might actually do. Oh, nope, that doesn't look good. It is actually quite a narrow staircase, um, so I'm trying to make it look not too janky. door there. Okay. And let's see if we can do anything with dark oak fence to make some railing railing situation here. Okay, maybe. Might look weird. I mean, those the floating. I don't know. Might look okay. And you can still walk up it, and it is here. <laughs> How we're doing here? So then I think this makes that bedroom pretty nicely. Okay, so now we need to let me look at the second floor here. Second floor. Okay. So that ends up being pretty straight across. Oh, there is a bathroom on the back side of the... Okay. This does extend out a bit. Okay. Well, maybe we will we'll make this Let's make it too wider. Which I guess would mean that this would also need to go out.
And that would make a very tiny bathroom. Uh, okay, maybe we'll work on the bottom then a little bit. All right. That's where things get to get a little bit tricky. I think I am okay with how this turned out here. Let me go back and look at um, these photos, how it goes into the upstairs here. Yeah, okay. Okay, so this is on the other side of the stairs, I'm pretty sure. Is that why I took that here at this time? Uh, let me look at the other, let me look at the blueprints for the first floor. Yeah, I think that's what that means. That that's a little... We need stairs. We do this, and then that'll at least cover up that there. Okay, we might have to do something a little bit tricky here. So we can get, okay. Hmm. A little bit of a hallway here. And now I want to do, do I have a slab? I do have a slab. Let me, let me get this slab here. And now I can do this thing, which is a patented Frankoid Wright thing, where he does this thing where he will, um, uh, oh, hey, T Gamer. Sorry, I was, I was so absorbed. Um, no, so this is a project that is, uh, it's called Frank Lloyd Wrightcraft. So this is not my house, but this is a house. Um, uh, let me show you the, the full um, photo here. This is a house designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. There we go. Um, and it is in Buffalo, New York. It's called Greycliff. Um, so this is a world where I have, I recreate um, the architecture of Frank Lloyd Wright in Minecraft. So I look at blueprints and photos, um, especially if I have been there. Um, and then I uh, look at blueprints um, and whatnot and try to re recreate this um, as to scale as possible in the world of Minecraft. So like I said, this is a house called Greycliff. 
Um, it is in Buffalo, New York. Oh my gosh, all these chickens. Um, uh, it was owned, or it was owned and commissioned by Darwin D. Martin, who also commissioned Frank Lloyd Wright to make this complex over here. And um, yeah, so I've been a big Frank Lloyd Wright fan since I was a kid. Uh, and one one weekend when I was home and uh, not traveling for my job, this was back in the before times, of course, um, I decided that I would try and make one of my favorite Frank Lloyd Wright buildings. And, and I had such a wonderful time doing it uh, that I decided to make this an ongoing project of recreating uh, his architecture here in Minecraft. So that's what, uh, that's the sort of elevator pitch of this uh, project. Uh, we're gonna have to do a good bit more terraforming here. Uh, but that is a project for another day. You disconnected. Yes. Okay. We'll leave these two here. I think that'll probably be okay. Hey, Tom. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? So yeah. So this is what we've what we've done so far. Um, uh, of this, uh, like I said, of this project here. So we will eventually add in the little pond out here in front. We will we will bring this out a bit more. Um, we've got the we've got the real estate too. So uh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm working on this uh, this Frank Lloyd Wright build here this afternoon. We're just starting it today, so uh, making a lot of a lot of choices, a lot of mistakes, a lot of redos. Um, to try and get the effect that we're going for. So, yeah. Yeah, this can all be brought out here, which will be nice because, uh, and then even over on this side too, because this is going to extend a little bit more this way. And then eventually we're also going to make the uh, servant's house, which is going to be over here. Um, and uh, we'll do some, a little bit ter more terraforming. And uh, we still obviously have the whole backside to do. <laughs> right now it's just a facade. So. Okay. So we do have this little pantry walkthrough area. We'll probably do this and this here. Um, I forget if on the back, if, uh, if that is brick on the back or not. I think it is. Um, oh, no, it's not. It's, it's a little bit different here. Makes things a little bit more complicated. It's not so bad, though. Let me look at where are my here are my photos. Actually, let's go ahead and look at the back and see if we can that can help us suss this out a bit. Hello, chicken. Uh, okay. So we'll do we'll do windows here. Bring this across. Uh, 
I need to see this blueprint. Okay, okay. Um, so then this starts to come out at some point. Um, although it does come out sort of here from this walkway pantry area. And maybe we'll go ahead and do that in some stone as we bring this out. Um, I guess we could make this, yeah, maybe we'll just bring this over. Yeah, we'll do that. here. We are going to bring this out a good bit because and we're going to replace a lot of this with uh, um, with glass, with windows. <laughs> can't like think and place blocks at the same time. <laughs> um, yeah, because we do want to get that uh, little glass sunroom area. Okay, let's do this. Go away, chicken. Maybe we need to bring this back one more. So we can get the true uh, curved glass area there. Not curved glass, um, cor the corners, the glass corners. Uh, yeah, because we're going to want to do something like Pig, where are you going? That is not your house. I'm going to want to do something like this here. Um. Oh, thwarted again, pig. Sorry. Not sorry. Get out while you still can, pig. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. We might need to bring this in one more because if we go and look at, uh, that's not what I wanted. We wanted the other slideshow. Um, where is this? This is This is what we're looking at here. This is what we're trying to make right now this area. Um, and let me go ahead and grab um, do smooth stone or do I want to do smooth like andesite or something? Uh, we'll do smooth stone for now. We can always change it. Polished anisite. That's what we're looking for. Uh, I think we'll need those. Okay, you gotta help me decide. Do we like knowing that the floor is this stone? Do we like the 
polished andesite better? Or do we like the smooth stone better? Let me know in the chat what you what you guys think. Which one looks better? And then I'm not sure how we're gonna do these ferns because we don't really have the real estate to like uh, the lighter one. Okay, we'll go with the lighter one. I, mean, I guess I could also do uh, I could do a mixture. Uh, that's not what I'm gonna do. Like mostly light, but then. Uh, what if I did, like, something like this to make it look more like, more like stone there. More like the, the sort of mismatched stones. Yeah, yeah, Dungeon Man, you helped. <laughs> what do we think about that? That might look, make it look a little bit more, um, not randomized per se, but make it look more like those stones are um, uh, different shapes, like different different shapes, different textures, uh, and whatnot. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, uh, Dungeon Man, I, I I also like that. I think that is a good choice. Uh, do we want to bring over one more, maybe? Let's see. Uh, that might be the th threshold of where. Okay, so we'll start to make. We'll start to put down this here. Thanks for your input, chat. Yay! It's always nice when like I have a chat and I can I can be like, hey, what do you guys think? What does this look? Does this look better? Because like sometimes you get stuck in your own mind and like I don't know, you like commit to the bit and like try and make it happen. Um, and sometimes that's not necessarily to your best advantage. Um, okay, so these are all. This is this is gonna be our floor upstairs. Um, so we need we need to keep having that as a reference point. Not that it necessarily has to be the ceiling here, but we do need to know where the floor is going to be upstairs. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and we're just going to put in some torches so we don't just get weird. Um, we'll have to figure out what to do with the ferns later. I don't know... Like I said, we don't really have the real estate. We could put like little pots, little planter pot things there. Um, and do something. Uh, like this. Like a row of them like this. Which might be the best that we can do. That looks so bad. You could even do something like this on the edge to I don't know. We'll think about it. There is greenery there. I don't think we can put too high uh well, I can't spell. Or I can't type. I can I can well, sometimes I can spell. <laughs> uh I don't think we can put a uh a large fern in there, no. Uh, oh, I think we can only put the small ones there. Cool. Okay. Oh, chicken! You're gonna have to move at some point. Uh, all right. So that does come out a bit, which is good. I wonder if we need to have this come out more so we can have a better, well, I don't know. 
let's let's play with this. Okay, let me go back to my photos and we're gonna go. Yeah, this is this is what we want here. So we have this big room, um, and then we have a slightly narrower uh, dining room on the other side. So this is what we were looking at here. Uh, man, these proportions are a little bit off. Bye, chicken. <laughs> Bye, chicken. I don't know. It's not. It's not terrible. Just do this here because it is an interesting little panel here. Does that look weird on the inside? Eh, kind of, but well, we we could do this just to even things out. Uh, no, we want to do this here so it'll look better from upstairs. I'm just gonna light this up. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, so we've got this, um, and now this just comes over. You got to figure out how far just how far over that goes. And um, I think for now we might just do a little uh, something uh, like so. We could do that. Maybe we'll do it up and then we can put like a fence post on the end. What is this? Oak trapdoor? Oak fence? Yeah, maybe we'll do that. That might look a little weird. Maybe we won't do that one. Okay, but that'll help separate. Uh, I feel like I need this needs to go over one. Eh, maybe it'll be okay. Put that there. Yeah, that'll give it the illusion of like a, a barrier and also the little shelf type thing. Okay, so now we need to look at this. Okay, so again, this is when this was like really under renovation. Uh, actually, it's been like I've seen photos, it looks really good now. It looks super cool. Um, okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in this floor here.
because that'll help me get into the right mood for this. And feel like uh, it's an actual room and not just like this sort of, I don't know, disembodied uh, area that we're trying to make up. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So we gotta figure out this fireplace situation here, which is gonna be a little bit tricky because it's got some diagonals and Minecraft doesn't play nice with diagonals. So uh, let me fill in this and get a sense for where these windows are gonna be. Uh, we'll probably do this then. Okay, cool. So that's how that's going to be. Uh, and we'll figure out what to do. Whether we want to take this up one more over on this side. Uh, we'll figure that, figure that out later. Okay. Um, let's get in another row of this. So this fireplace here, okay, I mean this room is, is kind of long, let me get a sense for, so now I can like look above and I can look at the blueprint and be like, how are we doing? Okay, okay, so far not bad. Yeah, I think that's probably where that needs to stop. If not, actually, if not, bring it in one more. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Those uh, last two that I added on, maybe we'll, we'll bring those back in. There. Uh, and then this should allow us then to... Put the fireplace here. Okay, let's let's do this because we can still have a hallway here. Yeah. Okay. 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 And we will. Maybe we'll do the same trick that we did over here with. Uh, these two for the uh, for the floor here, uh, and then uh, okay, we're gonna do this mostly with smooth stone, and we're gonna. Replace some of these. There we go. Cool. I made a diagonal fireplace. Nice. Uh, and then we could, let's see. Um, Uh, let's get some flint here. Uh, can I just light some fire here? Yeah. Um, uh, we can do that and maybe... <laughs> okay, and so now we're going to need this guy here. Uh, to come across.
like so. Yeah, how does that look? All right, all right, cool. And we'll probably finish this out with uh, maybe just this up top. Uh, no, let's make this back to stone there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I like that. And it'll look better when the ceiling's on too. Sweet. Okay, now it's going to come more tricky stuff because there is also like, well, actually it kind of does it itself. There's also another diagonal fireplace as we go into the um, dining room area. Okay, so this is going to be a little tricky because I need to move my thing. Uh, yeah, we might need to extend, um, uh, we might need to extend this, this thing some, because if you look, which is, which is fine, we can do that. This tree is annoying me. I'm getting in the way of my, my vision. Or a disembodied tree. Okay, so if you look at uh, the blueprints, um, you see that we do have this long expanse of, of uh, the South Terrace, as it says on the blueprint. I don't know if you can read that. Uh, I know it's got to be probably pretty tiny there, um, unless you're watching this on like a bigger monitor. But it does say South Terrace, which is these these row of windows here. Um, and if you notice, those go all along not only the living room but also into the dining room. And we haven't even made the dining room yet uh and this is where the kitchen was supposed to be so we're gonna have to bump that all out uh, yeah but we are making some good progress here on this uh, okay let me get back to my photos um maybe it was before this yeah, because I think we came in. Yeah, so this is the fireplace that we just did, guys. This sort of diagonal and then the, the sort of hanging rafter thing here. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm pleased with how this turned out. Um, if I continue. So yeah, so here's like a little fireplace on the other side in the dining room area. So that's going to be a little tricky. Yeah, here's the dining room area. Um, This one might have to be a fake fireplace. I'd be okay with that, I think. We'll have to look and see if that um, stone goes to the outside uh, or if it's the white it might actually be stone let's go ahead, you know what, let's go ahead and make it stone that'll make more sense with the why the windows stop anyway again we can always change it later if it's not this Excuse 
this. This will bring out a little bit more. This is going to be the dining room area. Uh, oh, interesting. Oh, it comes in here. Okay. Okay, so I think then I do need to see it from the back then. Okay, let's go see if we can find the back of the house. at the end. Yeah, okay. Okay. Ah, uh, interesting, okay. So we'll make this one more like so. Actually, we could make it two more like so. And we get a little bit of this. Um, I mean, this is going to go all the way up. I don't know if we want to bring that all the way up. Oh, that's going to look weird if we don't. I do this here, and then that'll be the dining room. Okay. Am I doing all right, Dungeon Man? Oh, this works out perfect. Do this. And 
on the edge here. And then we'll do that. Yeah, that there. Well, I'm glad to uh, give you some sort of background entertainment as you're uh, setting up for your for your game tonight. Yeah, yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, and let's put one more, put one of these here. Yeah, there we go. Sweet, okay. That gives us some, some texture and dimension there. I like it. All right. Sweet. Okay. There we go. Actually, that might need to be set back in. No, I think we'll. It's okay. We'll leave it like that so far. Do that. Yeah, that's looking all right. Uh, and then when we get up high enough, I'll probably extend this this way a little bit like into the roof a bit. I think it'll look nice. Okay. All right. Sweet. Okay, getting some texture and dimension here. All right, now let's go back to this, oh, this dining room. So I might, I might take a break here. Um, Go make some go make some food uh, before my other festivities this evening. Other activities this evening? Not festivities, just activities. I'm doing a um, a viewing party of the Nightmare Before Christmas with some of my friends, uh, which will get me into the spirit for this uh, live stream that I've got um, coming up on Sunday. Uh, that's over on Facebook. That's not on Twitch. Um, I try and keep my music stuff, my gaming stuff, a little bit separate. Uh, I mean, I know that there could be crossover. Um, uh, I know there could be crossover between like people who like to game and and people who like, you know, classical music. But um, also because of like the the Twitch affiliate stuff, like I try and keep those things separate. So cool. Well, I think we are we are going to uh, call it there for today. But I am I'm pleased with how this is turning out. I'm liking the way that it, it is going so far. Uh, and uh, we'll be back here next Friday to continue on this project. So uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Uh, I hope you have a lovely rest of your Friday. Um, and I hope you tune in again next Friday. Um, until then, uh, I do stream. I basically have uh, scheduled streams on uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday and Wednesday are, well, Monday is a uh, demo day, so I uh, try a few demos to see if these are games that I want to buy. Wednesdays are indie, indie game Wednesdays, so I particularly enjoy sort of sifting through the, the indie world uh, and the hordes of indie games that are out there uh, because there's a lot of indie games, a lot of which uh, are not great, but I do really love finding those that are, and finding those gems that are really cool. So Wednesdays, like I said, are Indie Game Wednesdays. Uh, and then we've got Frank Lloyd Wrightcraft Fridays. Uh, and then I do a bunch of other unscheduled streams throughout the week. Uh, I really like co-op games, so I've got a, 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 a regular diehard crew of people who play with me. Um, 
and uh, I don't know, we play stuff from like Deep Rock Galactic and Grounded, and we just picked up a, a several things on the Steam Halloween sale, so we're going to be playing some more like zombie or scary stuff uh, in the upcoming days and weeks. So yeah, if you uh, like what you see, go ahead and um, follow me, uh, and make sure you uh, have like the notifications turned on, because then you'll see when I go live and whatnot. Uh, and you know, of course, uh, subscriptions are always, always welcome, uh, always appreciated. And we are going to call it a day for today on the beginnings of Frank Lloyd Wright's Greycliff Estate. And I will see you next time, guys. Bye.